Max, firstly, happy birthday. I know it wasn't the, the easiest day for you out there. Can you just talk me through what it was like? Um, well, I think it started off quite well in FP1. I think the car was working quite well. And then for FP2, we wanted to try a few things, but um, they just took a bit longer to, to change, first of all. And then we wanted to try something else. And again, that took quite a, a long time to, um, to change again. So we couldn't really um, run a lot. That's why I think it's not really representative what we what we showed in in FP2, but uh, of course there's still a, a lot of room for improvement, but it's not uh, not the worst thing. That first sector on your final soft tie run looked good. Was it just the car kind of went away from you as the lap progressed? Uh, not really. Just, I mean, it was just not really having a reference. And then with the changes we made, were they good, were they bad, we still need to analyse. How much is it going to affect the rest of your weekend that you didn't get a long run in these more representative conditions? Well, around here it's anyway most important that you're quick over one lap. Um, and then, uh, we'll analyze a lot of things. Um, I mean, we did a little bit of a long run in FP1, so I don't, I don't think it will be the, the end of the world. But still optimistic you're in the fight for the win this weekend? Of course, and if we don't, we don't. You know, it's very simple. <laughs> Peko, it looked like a really difficult day for you out there. It didn't really go smoothly for most of the sessions. Yeah, we, first of all, lost a bit of track time uh, in, in FP2. And uh, yeah, we had a few issues with the engine, with the drivability, and then we did a lot of set setup changes. So a lot of information to get through uh, for tonight. And um, yeah, just pick up the best bits for tomorrow. And, and as usual, you know, try to do the best with what we have. As you were exploring those setup changes, it looked like the car was quite leery at a few points. Was it didn't really feel like it was underneath you? Uh, I, I feel more comfortable in FE1, which I, I actually was quicker in FE1, so I think there is some uh, good data for us to to look through and uh, yeah, try to pick up the best bits. How are you feeling about the rest of the weekend and the relative pace of Mercedes and Ferrari? Yeah, we, we knew they were going to be strong and uh, yeah, certainly Ferrari is looking pretty strong, so yeah, we will see what we are able to do tomorrow.